so uh, Big Red's going to be late. Um, but, uh, someone will have to control Jim. Because Rooster said he's not coming. Not on ice, but that. So, hopefully finish up this dungeon this session. So what happened in Ryan's game last night? The world end? No, it was saved. Okay. And then I died of old age instantly. <laughs> because I got aged. Oh. So you still die saving the world? Yep. <laughs> Go figure, right? They aged me by like 20 years. Uh, and it's kind of hard to survive that. Yeah, just a bit. <sighs> what level did you guys finish the campaign at? 15. Okay. Million. So what uh, kind of campaign are you going into now? I don't know. Well, Everybody's supposed to die. You just start the campaign dead. <laughs> well, I'm starting this one dead, so... Oh, you're undead? Yeah. Everybody's nice. undead. Don't you know these things? Oh, what a uh, undead campaign. <laughs> so, is your um, show start up again? Or your, uh, your affairs and selling all your what you create? Not yet. Got a yeah. few months. Okay. You still making stuff? Not right now. No. Yeah, I've got it to uh, the uh, card game and going through the, all the cards there. There are a couple of. Um, Characters that I want to change a bit. I go through them all. Kind of a rebalancing. Hello. Good night. So uh, I heard that uh, Mr. Reese's character died even though there was victory last night. I, I gave him petty non-death. Oh, okay. Um, the first thing they fought ages people. <laughs> nice. And yeah, so he was just an old lady. <laughs> so what's uh, this new one? This new campaign like? Uh, it's gonna be. Cool. I don't think it'd be as long, but. Yeah. It's basically more horror esque, I guess. Oh yeah. So it's basically uh they don't really know what happened, but basically demons are attacking and there's a person, like a prophet of a child being born, that child was born, that child has now grown up and has, you know, been trained to fight and stuff like that. Mm. And uh, the parties literally just, you know, the army just needs extra hands. They're being drafted to the army. Yeah. yeah. And then eventually catch up with the uh, so called chosen one. Mm. Well, my uh, Wednesday group, I've done a lot. Um, and only a, f a few 
sessions now. Hey, um, you know, Wednesday group two on top of a Tuesday. Sorry, group? Tuesday. I meant Tuesday. I'm tired. <laughs> no, there's no Wednesday. Group. Wednesday, same thing. That's melds into one day. Uh, but yeah, Tuesday. Hot. Yeah, Tuesday. They're uh, yeah, they're they've done quite a bit. Um, so the, in the beginning of the campaign, they already created a tangent where they're supposed to go to a ballroom uh, dance thing, but that led to them going to a town where they got captured. And then um, they fought their way out of uh, being captured and got some uh, items rather sneakily um, to progress the story. Uh, they brought down an uh, entire cavern of bandits by collapsing it by blowing up a couple of crates. <laughs> um, and now, right now, they're in a town trying to solve a murder. Oh, okay. Um, so it's just kind of a start of a mini quest. So, yeah. We'll see how that goes. They are. Uh, they already created a different tangent for that one. Um, they've been sneaking around, exploring, and scouting. Oh, okay. Um, so they're doing pretty good. Yeah. They. They've only really, honestly, they've only really fought like normal encounters as they come across, uh, but the actual encounters like the areas they're sneaking around and, and stealthily taking guys out they're the rat folk player is basically their tank like he's rolling critical man like he's rolling really good they like lure the, them over and, and and then he just takes them out from behind it's rather cool <laughs> yeah Oh, it's working for them. Uh, they did almost release a couple of werewolves that were in cages there. One player was like, yeah, why don't we just release them and let them take out the bad guys? And everyone else is like, no. <laughs> why not? So, yeah. So, who's going to play Rooster's character tonight? You are. Yeah. No. Yeah. Then he stands around and does nothing. Okay. I'm good. Uh, we, we need to look up uh, some really bad dad jokes. Okay. So, we'll just start because Big Red's going to be late. Um, but not right here. Yeah, yeah, but we're just missing Big Red. Yeah, Big Red's going to be late. I don't know how late. All right, so uh, pretty much ended the session off last in a current room. Um, and you're still exploring this uh, dungeon here, trying to clear it out of the Shadow Assassins. So ahead of you is a locked door, and you were pretty much you came from that way. This way is uh, where you fought those ghosts and in that sort of church area. So uh, for Mr. Ree's character, you are currently stuck in that room. So until the players get to you, you're kind of stuck. Why I can just bust down a door? Uh, no, there you're in there for a particular reason. You're so just stay there for now. Ah, uh, the door that's over here. Yeah, is there like a gap under at the bottom of it? No, it's just uh, yeah, it's just a regular door. Okay, so there's no little gap. Mm -hmm. I was going to squish Blobbert underneath the gap to peek in the other side of the door. 
pretty much this door leads out to the entrance area. That's that's pretty much. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I got you. Okay, Just okay. from the the topography. Like the layout. And, yeah, the layout. Yeah, yeah. Goes back to the eye. Yeah. Okay. Let's see the trouble. So we're missing our one party member then. Yeah, I have uh, Branson and uh, Jim access to everybody. So, yeah. For now. So. We have a lich. Well, uh, the um, oh, eye, yeah, the, yeah. the eyes over there. Um, just remember that if you're controlling Jim, he has to roll yeah. a will save when he gets near it. Ah, uh, okay, I got you. Yeah, I'll just open this door and just say, yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I'll probably go with that door then. Yeah, Jim, whoever's controlling him, uh, if he gets within a certain distance of that, yeah. then he has to roll. Fair enough. So, how's Tony today? Can't you hear? You Tony died. He became mute. Oh, he became you. Oh. Okay. So, yeah, uh, you pretty much see the the eye there. And you see, yeah. of course, the statue the still. Statues. Yeah, they're still yeah. standing. Yeah. Uh, and the door on the way, like, the entrance to this, we rigged it, right? Yeah, it's uh, yeah. a magical barrier. There is a locked door way over here that you haven't gone okay. to. I'll go to the door and point at it and tell Tony to use the ooze pick. Okay. I'll just You're still Ransom. being a mute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tony's mute now. Tony lost the ability. Hello? Can you hear me? There we go. Now yeah, we there you go. I can hear I you now. My thing was off the whole time. Yeah, I showed up and then I disappeared because I had to go get something. Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry about that. I heard you wanted me to use who's pick. Yeah, there's yeah. a locked door. Go ahead and uh, post that just so I can see what the bonus is. Uh, yeah, give me one second. I'll play uh, Necromancer Team if no one else is. Sure. Yeah, you didn't. I do, I'll just say you walked carefully to there. avoid the whiz. Sa whiz Plus two saving throw. bonus yeah. to thievery. That's okay. dog shit. I'm uh, I'm gonna try that again. Well, I guess that breaks the ooze pick, so I have to do it. Uh, it it will break a critical on a critical. Anymore. Yeah, it will break on a critical. Is that a crit fail? No, no. You uh, you do open it with that though. That's fine. Oh, um, so let's see here. Uh, you can hear talking up ahead. Um, it is two assassin types as you peek around the corner. They have not spotted you as of yet. Uh, and I need a group perception roll from everyone. So who's going to do it? Uh, who's our best perception? Oh, it's it's Branson, I think. Because he's, you know, he, he's the, uh, yeah, it is. He's got a 14 because he's a cleric. Oh, oh yeah. I'll, I'll so, roll it for him. Yeah. Branson's mute. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, there is a wall door here. But that role, oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. So uh, looks, looks to be a secret wall, but you can see right through it. I could hit both of these guys with flying flame. 
Lobbert. You're not being stealthy. Yeah, no, they can hear something, uh, but Tony, you can cast something before they react. I use the power of, uh, what's it called? Blind flame! Both of them give me reflexes. Yeah, don't forget your added action in your character sheet, too, for as a reminder. Oh, yes. Yeah, I don't know if you read it yet or not. <laughs> I'm looking at it right now. Yeah. It's special. Blobber can attack? What does he do? Oh, let's see. Oh, yeah, Familiars can attack. Wow. Anything could attack. Doesn't mean it's great, though. So, no. one critically passes and one regular passes. Well, that's a sh Oh, I rolled dog shit damage anyway. It's the worst flying... Tony throws worst flying flame ever is asked to leave party. What the fuck? So, uh, is that half for just passing, right? Yeah, half for success, uh, no damage for crit success. Okay. All right. Oh, they're obviously aware of you now. And so, roll them up I have for initiative. I have Nick or Master Jim uh, roll something. When yeah. We, uh, when we yeah, start. yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can see his special action as well. Uh, do you want me to roll for Branson? Sure. He's going to cast uh, Vicious Jealousy. All these illusion spells on a necromancer are very strange. Mm hmm. So, on this guy, right? Yep. Okay. So, we'll save on him. Yeah. Just passes. Yeah. Yep. So, for one round, you uh, uh, Oh, that's kind of nice. Okay. Oh, great. I have to roll initiative, don't I? Yeah. No, you don't. So I got only Branson and Jinko on the initiative. There you go. Got Tony. Yeah. That's weird. It is not to keep. I have to, I have to enter him into combat. That's right. I push the little yeah. button. There you go. Yeah. I, I briefly forgot how Pathfinder works. All right. Common affliction. It's probably because, like, place. it's probably because on mine I have the combat set up, like, initially, so, like, there's no toggling. Okay. okay you have all the pages mods of just combat and just pause it. <laughs> um, so these guys have a. Uh... Mm -hmm. Wow, we rolled like other than Jim, 25, 24, 23. Yeah. So there. Uh, you see this uh, assassin pull out, uh, well, he's got a pistol on him. Fires. Ooh. Ouch. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh, That's ouch. a lot of... That is a lot of damage. I'm in a very bad way. Yeah. Uh, That's he... after the doubling, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, That's his first action. So, uh, he's taking his last action reloading. Ooh, big thunderstorm. Here. Wow, that... First, first attack of the game is a critical. Fuck me. Yeah. Uh, Don't worry, Jinko's only wounded too. So as long as he doesn't get crit knocked down, he's fine. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, he's crit knocked down. He's dead. Oh, 
my god. Ori. We need the tree. The tree's out of this campaign. So he he does the same thing and shoots Uh, you. And uh, he leaves his last action to reload. They're gonna do me in like they did Sinatra. Yeah. Please. Okay. Like they well. Did Tupac. <laughs> okay. Well, does our cleric have healing spells on him? I hope so. He should. He should. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he does. Yeah, he's good divine font, so he should have. Yeah, he has a spontaneous spell. Yeah. Damn. Oh. May not actually get to play this character because the team won't get to me. There you go. Good. All right. Cool. Uh, and then he'll put. Uh, I fixed da, 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 da. Can you cast shield on another person, or can it only be on yourself? Only on yourself. Uh, only psychics on. have a. Th- there's a certain psychic class that can do it on other people, but normally yeah. it's just you. Right. Um. Do, 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 do. What can you do? I guess he's one action left. Uh... Hey, Mr. himself. Mr. E, you feel fortunate being in this combat, I guess. <laughs> no, I would have destroyed them all, but you told go. me I'm stuck in a room yeah, with an empty right. chest. Yeah. And you won't let Francis me destroy the door. No, not yet. Uh, Branson's done? Branson's done. Okay, so Jinko, your go. Uh, this will be fun. Uh, I go poison a dart and attempt to blow a dart at one of these guys. Okay. Oh, jeez. Of course, I rolled a one. Wow. Uh, da, 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 da. Wow, I'm wounded three. After a great start. So any damage, I'm automatically dead <laughs> if I get knocked down. That's brutal. What the fuck? Critical fumble deck is evil. Yeah. It's against you all tonight. I, Holy crap. Yeah. I inhaled my blow gun guard, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. He got caught. I also lose the poison on it because it critically failed. Fuck. Oh my god. Oh, well, that's my go. Wow. Okay, yeah, so Tony. If they knock me down, I'm instantly dead, regardless of what type of damage they do. Tony, you're up. Uh, well, as Tony gets like shot down and then immediately revived. He, he gets yeah. and goes, oh, they're trying to do me like Tupac! Literally, he says that, and then he stands <laughs> up as one action, because I got knocked the fuck down. Uh, let's see here. I think it's best for me to just shoot. No point putting up my, uh, my thing here. I am, we're all for T2, aren't we? Yeah, from the yeah. ghosts, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm gonna make my own gun, but a fire. Fuck. Nice. Oh. I raised my buckler. Buckler. <laughs> <laughs> right. Actually, I'm, I'm mulligan that. I uh, I pussy out. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, That's my turn. All right. Necromancer Jim. Yeah, it's Jim's He's turn. Who's no fucking spells left. He has... No, he doesn't. I saw that. Yeah. Get char. <laughs> he does. He's only got one damage cantrip. It's just torturous trauma. He has a spider sting. But that's a no, that's, that's, that's a touch spell. He has four. It is. <laughs> does he have any range weapons? Nope. Weapons? No. Or any range anything? Nope. He's got torturous trauma. That's it. And that is on lethal. <laughs> One spot. Torturous trauma, I guess. I'm this guy. Okay. 
Well, I might be bringing in my Power Ranger. So well, later. that's a critical well, pass. Uh, nothing yeah, happens. Yeah, a critical pass. Uh, Jim is going to be like, you know what, uh, Tony, you got the right idea. Right away! <laughs> I'm going to make a skeleton and rattle on out of here. Yeah. Well, Jim runs away, so back to the assassins. Oh, good thing I put a shield on Branson. But mm -hmm. the fatigue doesn't help. And their rolls aren't helping. No, they're not. Because it was, what, two crits last time? Ooh, I'm so alive for now. Ow. That was be its turn because it shot, reloaded, and then shot. Yeah. Okay. See, it's not so bad when it doesn't crit and, like, roll max damage. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I missed. Woo, the missed. Okay, in last section. Okay, the so. Good. They're done. You're, you missed. You keep missing. Ah, uh, Branson. Ah, uh, Branson's going to... Sorry, you should... Plumber should be on me. Um... You just go close the door for an action. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then move out here <laughs> with the rest of the people. All right. Okay. Uh, Jinko. Uh, I will also move back as one action. Close this door as a second action. <laughs> okay. And then my third action, I go battle medicine myself because I think I need that. Whatever you do, do not crit fail. The moment of truth. <laughs> and he didn't crit fail. <laughs> I held okay. You know, 25 is good. Yeah. That's basically what I took in a little bit. Oh, it's just like Tony opens the door and he's ready to just, like, take these guys on and they get shot up. <laughs> yeah. I like to imagine, like, yeah, that's he charges up the big, like, uh, flying flame just like a little spark. It goes pew! Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Tony, it is your turn. Lock the door! <laughs> you have the key, lock the door. <laughs> I do! I walk up! I lock the door! Okay. And then... I run away! <laughs> okay. That's the turn. Okay. I mean, they have the lock on the other side, but that's just an extra action that they have to do. Uh, <laughs> Jim, you're up. So what's Jim doing? Uh, he's going to say... I have a good idea. It, what, you have, what's your idea? No, I'll, I'll wait for my go. You, you do what Jim does. He's going to say... Uh, Insert insert skeleton running pun here. He says that. That's what he says, and he's been yeah. reaction striding. Okay. <laughs> that's his turn. Nice. Okay. All right. So let's see. Okay. Mr. Reed, could you roll yourself into initiative for me? He died. Nah. He left me in here for 17 years. Actually, even then, I would actually still be alive. Uh, he didn't show up on the initiative tracker. I don't know why. Oh, there you are. Sorry. It was up on mine. Sorry, yeah, I saw it. I see it. I see it. I see it. Okay. Um, We're going to go to you uh, just because it's near end round and you're at the end of the round anyway, so you are faced with a locked door. What type of locked door? Uh, it, look, it, it looks like a uh, stone door. <laughs> But there is a keyhole. Are you sure? That's what you're looking at. Okay. 
Well, there's a switch over here. What does it do? Don't know if you put the... Uh, try it out. <laughs> well, I'll command my little birdie to fly over there. All right. And hit the switch. Okay, so this door opens up. And... Um, it reveals a hallway that uh, has electrical charge going through it all the way down. It just—it's like oh, a, it. a switch, and it's—it's it, it's, uh, like electrical currents going all the way through that hallway. Okay, then my act together will move. Where's the electric current start? Basically where you are. It goes all the way down to the other end. All right. So my act together will move us there. And then... How tall is the hallway? Does the electric go all the way up to the top? Yeah, it goes all the way to the top. Kind of like runs... Um, up and down, left and right. Uh, the ceiling is about uh, 20 feet, um, so it's kind of hitting the ceiling as well, going up and down all around. It's always the fun part. Yeah, it's the fun part, yeah. And we have a switch over here. Yeah. So it looked well, like it, it unlocked and opened the door, and then the fun started. Well, I gotta wait for my till I can command my bird again, so that's my turn. Okay. So that'd be the best way to get to the switch. Since he's okay. small and nimble. So those two guys are scheming. Uh, let's see what they've got. Okay, so they've done their thing. Uh, Branson. Uh, sorry, sorry, I was controlling them. Uh, I will say, I will say for Branson, could he roll me a perception roll? Hello, I just got back from the award ceremony, Sam and Abel. Ooh, you're just in time Ooh. for the chaos. Oh, yeah, Ooh. the chaos of the fact we're all in extreme pain in the middle of this dangerous yeah, necromancer dungeon. Yeah, uh, Chinko's wounded three and is about to die. I'm out of spells, and my cantrips can't do anything against the I cast your last head. spell. It did nothing. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I did? I cast it. We got into combat. I get I get created twice in the first run and went down. He got shot twice just as he opened the door to the, another yeah, room. Do what? Me like Tupac. What Jim? What did you have Jim cast? I had him cast uh, vicious jealousy. <laughs> oh yes, the good. Yeah. Of, did it do nothing? Yeah, it okay. did nothing. It did nothing. <laughs> so Branson, um, hopefully he gets here soon. Um, Branson, you notice. As you can notice, all the statues pretty much at this point, they kind of arc from facing each other towards the eye. Oh, fun. Oh, I'm damaged. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you so, all are in bad shape. So they're all facing the eye? They're arc facing the eye now. Oh, oh there I am. Oh, why did you put me close to the eye? You're not, yeah, you're, not you're not you're you're basically being careful within the distance. I counted it to be sure. So from where you are, you're fine. Just probably not a good idea to get more near it. 
So what's Branson going to do? Take him. Why does he have Protect Companion? I don't know. He can't even okay. know that spell. You, you get it as a feat, from, as a summoner. There's no other way to get it. Yeah. No, I'm thinking of Reinforce Eidolon. That's different. Yeah, that's Reinforce Eidolon, yeah. There's, there's Protect Companion. No, no, Protect Companion is the one I'm thinking of. There's a different one that's for, like, Rangers. He, he can't it's even know that spell. I'm a really... I don't think uh, Big Red understands how Pathfinder character building works. Don't think it's, he uses... Uh, I'm not sure he uses Path Builder. He's going to move with Tony, and then he's going to put a shield on himself. All right. Does he need a shield on himself? I thought he had a shield. Thought he did too. He does. He does have a shield, actually. He just go raise his shield then. Okay. There you right. go. Uh, that'll be Jinkle's turn. All right. Uh, question. Yep. Can I throw a bunch of darts on the ground, kind of like little, like, you know, needles? Unicorns. Like, would they do anything? Like, just in front of the door? (laughs) Like, they won't do anything, but, like, they'll just be, like, little darts. They would stick in the ground. You could one of these darts, like, cow trips. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Yeah. Or... Actually, or I have uh, some oils. They're technically poisons, but they are oils rather than. Can I spread oil on the ground just to make it slippery? The poison won't do anything because it's an injury poison. But by the, the oil, door. at least make it slippery. By the door, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll uh, I'll uh, spread some oil down by the door okay. as uh, an action, and then I will run. Okay. Run away. Run. I want to let me move. 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 There you go. Okay. All right. Tony's up. Are we still on the runaway plan? Oh, yeah. I put oil by the door, by the way, so. Uh, Tony, from where you are, give me a perception roll. Uh, I mean, you can move and you can move and do that. Yeah. Eighteen. Good enough. The eye starts moving, like rotating round and round. Oh, well, that's my turn. Okay. Uh, Mister Re, Gil, Gillis, Gil. Your go, Gilius. Gilius, your go. Okay. You keep First, you, you going... keep spelling your own names wrong. It, it sets me off. You had Delia, kept calling her Delilah. Now you've got Gillies, I'm calling you Gilius. It is not my fault that you can't understand the uniqueness of the insanity inside my head. I okay. I do. I, I opened up your skull one night, and all I saw was autism. Ah. Uh. You shouldn't find anything in there. I sold it a long time ago. No, no, you didn't. No one was buying. Mm-hmm. All yeah, right, anyway, so I'm going to command my birdie, who is going to try to do acrobatic dodging through the okay. hallway and get about halfway through. And it's a skeleton bird anyway, so mm-hmm. how it can fly to begin with is beyond me. Okay. Uh... So it's gonna fly towards the ceiling and everything. Um, I will say, what's its speed? Twenty-five. So, give me three mm, reflex rolls. To get there. Okay. Twenty nine. Yeah. Okay. Twenty five. 
Okay. 31. So nice you're, last one for nice. yep, you're good. You're good there. Up to there. So the lightning's no, still going hard. on there, but you bob and it bobs and weaves through that section. Well, I don't know Matt Trap's mechanisms with this character, ironically. So I'm just going to wait where I'm at. Okay. Till my next turn, then Bob can finish going over and hit switch. Okay. And hopefully that gets rid of the electricity. All right, Jim. Mm -hmm. I've awoken. What happened? Wow. Okay. You were in a dead state, and you made some really bad skeleton puns, and you woke up, and you're here. <laughs> uh, you can see the eye moving around, rotating. Oh, no. Uh, wait, what's his name again? Who? Tony, which direction? Oh. <laughs> can see the point back to where we came from? This way! All right! <laughs> All right! <laughs> Why can't I move Branson? It's doing the same way I can move Branson for some reason again. Branson already went. I know, but no, it was like, for some reason, my icon was connected to Branson. Oh, uh, no, okay. <laughs> Got enabled for everybody right now. Okay, Bob the bird. I've... Okay. Oh, yeah, that lit there. Yeah. So, uh, what's Jim? How much can I move? I can move 25. All right. So, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay. Oh, wait. I see. Actually, scratch that previous move. Wait, so are we just trying to get out? Yeah, we're running away. Okay. Oh, wait, hang on. I still have Pocket Library. You know what? I'm just going to use Pocket Library on Arcana just so. How do we leave? <laughs> you gave it. I don't know. Yeah, right, that was more just a joke saying that in there. <laughs> that is my t turn, by the way. Okay. So. The glass shatters. And all the statues crumble into nothing. And Jim, you feel a almost like a stare coming directly in your direction from here. Oh no. Uh, I'm in danger. Yeah, and aren't you undead? No, not yet. I'm literally just a necromancer, man. Oh, see, I'm undead. Well, it's more like half undead. Okay. Ooh, this guy can move. Uh, so, measure here. Oh no. The Wraith. Great. So the Wraith? What the fuck? It's so Joker. All right. So, Brad, so all of you could see this thing go all the way across. And you can hear 
screams. Um, Branson. Uh, oh, it disappeared, did it? <laughs> It's still yeah, there. Audio. It's, it's still there. Like it went this way. And you heard screams from this. Which area. Way it went to the hallway? Basically, it's where the hallway, where the start is, where you guys came down into this hole. Uh, I guess this. Okay. Put that there, and let's just go. Okay. Jenko. Uh, I see. I'm assuming I saw that break oh, yeah. as well. Yeah. Uh, I. I'm going to take out, like, riding my weapon, basically. So I like, do two actions to get, like, the poison and then load the blow gun. And then I'll just wait until I can see something to shoot with the blow gun dart. Okay. Tony. And I thought we were running away. Actually, I think I can still... I think I can still hit things. Let me check something. I'm just going to see what the range to commit on this is. Uh, that was against nothing. Ignore that. Eh. Okay, I will move up one. And then I will prepare an action to shoot at... Oh, shit. I need to get closer because I can't use the thing for that. Fuck it. I guess I'm rejoining the party. Okay. All right, there we go. Okay. All right, Gil, you go. Okay, so I will command my bird to finish flying it and hit the switch over here. See, that turns off electricity. So, uh, so three more. Three more, yeah. Okay. 26, not bad. 22, may want to reroll that one. 18. Definitely you're rolling that one. 32. There we go. Hey. That's better. Uh, he only got hit once by that. How much damage? Not bad. 38 damage? Dear freaking lord. That is some powerful electricity. Yes. What spell did you cast? Did it? I got hit by electrical trap. Oh, uh, oh that's rough, buddy. So it, you um, get hit, but uh, turns it off with a switch on the end, opening the door in front of you. Okay. Well, my act together will be for us to move down the hallway. Lucky you always set your bird. <laughs> yeah, that's why I sent the bird. The bird has his own health pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's separate from me. Unlike my lich, who has the share health pool. Okay, so how far away is my bird? 70. And I have one action left. Okay, we'll just demand. If you're playing a summoner, uh, 
I don't know if you're just using that nomenclature, but you don't actually command the Eidolon, it just shares your action pool. Yeah, but it works just like you're commanding them. I mean, not, not really, but whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it just it shares a pretty lot of economy. Because you don't have to say, like, I command my Eidolon, your Eidolon just does it. Yeah, but it still uses up an action of mine for them to move to that, too. Yeah, it does, it's, but it's they share it. Think of it as, like, you're one person sharing two bodies. Well, it's it's more complicated than that. You you and your Eidolon are the same character who share an action pool, and act together basically lets you whenever one character does an activity or an action, the other one can do a one action thing as well. So you can, in essence, have as many actions per round as someone with an animal companion, but the way you use them is different. It's yeah. There's a lot of nuance in how to, how you play something. Like yeah, that. it's yeah. Anyway, that's my turn. Okay. Sorry, I'm just very autistic about Summoner. I, I really um, like so everybody want to catch Big Red up as he's just joined? Uh, we're all about to die. <laughs> Tony got shot in the face twice. Pretty much. I didn't help They're trying to do me in like Tupac! It's, yeah, Tony got shot. I inhaled my own blow gun dirt. <laughs> yeah, it started off great. All right, Jim, bring it on. Uh, by the way, Jim, you're starting to hear whispers in your head. Nah, that's fine. You're not sure if they're yours or someone else's. This is very spooky. I'm going to say it rattles it's, uh, around. It's Chips talking to him from the dead. <laughs> would be surprised, right? It's Chips. Yeah. Um. So f wait, we're just trying to get out that direction. Remember, there's that magical barrier there. Yeah, I put a wall there because the ghost went there. So, which direction are we trying to go? I don't know. <laughs> Somewhere away. I away from this oh. hellhole. I say words of encouragement. Don't worry, we can survive this. I survived worse. Maybe I died to it. I don't know. I believe you. You believe that you're going to die to it? Okay. No. It probably believes that too. <laughs> the cast detect magic. Is there anything of value? Not in that area, but you certainly could feel something evil here. I love okay. when you're out of spells. I cower. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that so... actually is an action. Yeah. I think God uh, Cobalt have it. I know. Oh, well. If uh, Jinko dies, I can bring in Jeff. Ah, oh, Jeff. Jeff. The Power Ranger. Or he thinks he's a Power Ranger. I, uh, can Maguses use... Can Maguses use bombs if they're the Starlight Spam? Technically, yes. Yeah, you can oh, spell that's... strike with a bomb with Starlight Spam. It counts. Oh, I have a gl it does. I have a glorious idea for my next character, then. I Jim love I love where this is going. Magical Bomber! <laughs> I'm gonna throw bombs and you're gonna explode in a fireball! The only thing is with um, make sure like you take like a feet for the bombs, because otherwise you don't have the yeah, cabin splashes or anything. You're just throwing bombs. I'm getting out for this dedication. Uh, actually, there's a uh demolition dedication. It's even better. Does that work better? Yeah, because you can actually set up traps. So you can actually plant bombs on walls and stuff. The only oh, thing is, so without that's... something that lets you draw the bombs as a as a free action. You're only yeah, going to be able to spell true. strike every other turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strike. Yeah, yeah, but oh yeah, that's a fair point. Yeah, I might want to go then, like alchemist, and then dedication into. Uh, yeah, let's be prepared. Like into it. 
I mean, I'm more of going to be chuck. I'm not going to be setting the bombs as much. I'm going to be just chucking them at people. So Alchemist is much better for me. Yeah. All right. Uh, um, so after Jim goes, uh, Jim, oh, sorry. Jim, oh, you're oh, uh, sorry. you're feeling something quite near. Luck, luck. If you want a deal, you got a deal. Uh, Branson, you are feeling something quite near. I, I'm Evil. telling Branson, please bless me, please bless me, please bless me. The same's going to possess me. <laughs> Jim is freaking out. I'm also a little excited right now because of a bunch of stuff going on. Mm. So, Branson, uh, it is your turn. You're feeling quite a lot of evil and whispers in the area. You can hear them. It's just requesting assistance. <laughs> Bless the necromancer who would probably get harmed by it because he's a necromancer. It's fine. That's, that's just, you know. Look, I'm here casualty to make deals. Of war. Not, I'm here to make deals, not get possessed by evil horse. <laughs> Same thing. Okay. So, Branson, what are you going to do? We're talking, we can't hear you. Your, your thing, light right? is sparking like your like your thing is producing sounds, but we can't hear anything. Yeah. Maybe you need to bring it closer. Maybe it's not plugged in all the way. Maybe fiddle with the volume a bit. Fair enough. Maybe post some shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Cool. That's his go. Um, Jinko, you feel a very strong evil presence. You hear whispers. I just start to pray. Okay. That's yeah. it? That's all I'm, yep, I'm just praying. I Well, I have my blowgun ready, but yeah, I'm just we're praying. All just, we're all like going, we're all You're going peeing down. your pants. So, <laughs> Tony, you see everybody peeing their pants. It is your turn. No, Jim's just spouting I'm pants, random I'm jokes. just praying. Okay. Yeah, Jim's spouting jokes. Okay. One action, I pull out a healing potion. Second action, I drink the healing potion. Gulp. That's not. That's not nearly enough. Uh, last action, I pull out another healing potion. Uh. Yes, actually, I pull out another healing potion, and that's that's my turn. See, you what? Psychic. All right, Gil, you go. Okay, so for my act together, I'm going to move up as my lich will cast um, Bob the Bird Void Warp. Okay. Bird's going to fail it on purpose and get healed 10 and take the enfeebled. Cool. And that's two actions. Don't you forget it. And then for my last action, I will move up a hair a bit more. 5, 10, 15, 20. And that's my turn. All right, Jim, here go. This is a long rear hallway. I'm going to just cast Detect Magic. <laughs> Again. Okay. <laughs> you are myself. De you're On detect yourself. You're detecting I'm heavy. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you're detecting high evil magic around you. Oh, good. Great. <laughs> Does anyone have that like thing that stuns spirit entities? 
Mm, I'm an alchemist, so I will say no. No, that, I'm talking about that item we found. Oh, Who's the that? locket. Who has it, actually? It, Someone has party it. Set. Oh, because it was on the cat. Yeah. Let's say that, so let's that, say that uh, Tony picked it up. It seems like a thing he would do. Yeah, that seems like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's my turn, by the way. I just cast tech magic. I say, be ready for something. And that's my turn. Uh, uh, roll me a will save. Jim. Oh, great. Uh-oh. Jim. What, bro? Oh, I'm actually pretty good at these. I'm re-rolling that. What are y'all doing? Look at the good kids. Uh, no. You are possessed. By going bad. Um, uh, Jim, I'm just gonna move you here, so don't move your character any shape or form. As you become it, if that makes sense. Nice. Uh, so you got tagged. You got tagged. Yes. Uh, so uh, basically, Jim, you are you are. In a darkness, you are fearing everything around you. You don't know where you are. It's just pitch black. Oh, can I get my, uh, since I've been holding my logo in dark forever, can I shoot at this thing as it appears? Yeah, yeah, because you're holding it. Yeah. I was holding my breath quite literally. <laughs> yes. Woo! Look at this damage. Ding. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then it was this one. It is a DC twenty-two save, not twenty-one. Uh, just passes, so you stage one, so he takes one D six fatality. Okay. Oh my! Big Red, you coming in so much broken up, it's not even funny. I think he's fiddling with his microwave. It's not, it's yeah. not microphone. <laughs> no, it's not the microwaves. His microwave. His microwave. Is this better? Uh, we can hear uh, you now. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I think my toddler was playing around with some shit. Ah, uh, uh, fair enough. Toddlers do be playing around with shit. <laughs> Uh, Tony, you were critical. Again? Ah! Um, I'm at one HP. Tony's gonna oh. die. You must roll a fortitude save. Oh no! Uh, you just got it. <laughs> Uh, you just got it. Um, wow. Alright. So, this roll? one here, I'm looking at the crit hit. Um, oh. This, no, this ain't good. And it's, uh... What does this is do? Oh, so it classifies as magic. So he's glowing. Yeah, you have fairy fire on you, essentially. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, that's not that bad at all. No, could have been a lot worse. Yeah, but if he gets critically hit one more time, poor Tony will be gone. If I get hit with, if I get knocked down, I'm gone forever. <laughs> um. So be careful. <laughs> from you guys, uh... and we almost got two people dead. Uh. So from that, uh. This thing heals. Uh, Brinson, oh, yeah. here go. I love race. I I'm going to reach out and touch Tony and cast heal on him. And I'll do two action. Touching you. Touching me. All right. Jinko just starts breaking out in song and starts singing Sweet Caroline. That should yeah. help him a little bit. And then... Actually... 
So in case you didn't pick up on it, it broke out of the eye, went over to where two assassins used a pathway to come down to the entranceway, and he sucked their souls for power. Okay. That wasn't very nice. Says he just basically, it was just basically recharged himself. Those poor, poor people. Well, aren't you glad they're not shooting at you? Yes. Well, I'm just going to raise my shield again as my last action. Okay. Jinko. Jinko continues to sing Sweet Caroline very badly. Uh, let's see. I will one action take out my dagger. Because I can't keep throwing that one poison on him because it doesn't work like that. <laughs> Move up for a second, and last action, I go stab him. Stab him the ghost. Okay. I stab the ghost. I do a whole one damage. Okay. Okay. Now it's my turn. Tony, who is teetering on life. <laughs> On the edge of death, you mean? I don't yeah. know. I uh, I drink the potion in my hands. Yeah. Cool. And then I uh, activate my thermal nimbus. Watcha! She's going to start taking uh, automatic damage. And then I'm gonna punch him. Fuck! Punch I'm, the ghost. That's terrible. Awful roll. Turn. Fucking turn over, I guess. All right, Gil. Okay, so me and my glitch are going to move up here. And then I am going to battle mess in my poor birdie. My medicine ad again. I like how there's another okay. character. We just have yet to even meet them. Yeah, you don't even know he's there. <laughs> oh, I know that's what I'm saying. Like, it's just, in my mind, it's funny. We're like, you know, just doing our thing here. We'll eventually find them or see them. We might be dead by the time they come here, though. So my birdie's actually at full health again. Yeah. Yay. All right. So, and the pathway's open now. Yeah. So I will use my last action to move birdie. Let's see, that's 20, 30. So 30, the light. Door. Yeah, the light you see in here is like flickering really badly, um, going on and off. Oh, that one's not me. Yeah, just. Yeah, locked door, you see. Okay. Uh, trained in medicine? If so, based? Uh, okay. Not only is the island trained in medicine, um, Gilly's is trained in medicine too. Oh, yeah, for the skill sharing. Uh, yep. And is... they have stitch flesh. Cool. Jim, uh, give me another will save as you're fighting in darkness. Darkness mm. A lot better. Okay. Uh, you you basically like are are you hear noises? You're in darkness. You're in black. You you think you you feel something go through you, but then you're like you calm yourself down. Am I able so, to do anything? No. Oh. It's kind of like you're. Light on me. Sorry. Uh, you can if you want. I cast light on myself. Okay, go to Whisper. As you cast light on yourself, you see hundreds of like shade creepy uh, looking shadows staring right at you. I, I need you to make 
I need you to make I'll another will, will save. Sweet. I go, hello, how's the weather? All right. You have to roll very high every turn now, as long as you're in this state. Because the light is on. The light is on now, making your will saves even. You have to roll higher. Oh, they, they you, don't like the light. No, just what you did. You basically, I'll just say this much. They're quite aware of you more than ever now, wherever you are. You're breaking up real bad. You're breaking up real bad. I couldn't hear any of that. Oh. Yeah, you're still breaking up. <laughs> but yeah, you yeah, you just gotta constantly roll will saves at this point. So just go back to journal. You're breaking up too much. I have Jeff up just in case. All right. Hello, hello. Hello. I can hear you. I can hear you now. I can hear you now. Yeah, my settings got all changed around for some reason. Oh. Either way, I, was, I wanted the diplomacy, the shades. That is hilarious. Uh, fortitude save for Jingo. Jingo. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me take the damage first. Yeah. Uh, go assume it's not a poison. No, it's not. That's You've a bad roll. Failed. Yep. You are drained one. Ooh, even more better. Not good. You hit again. Another will save. Or, sorry, uh, four save. Sorry. Yeah. You just got so it. It'll keep getting worse because of the drain. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got it in that one? Yeah, you passed the second one. Oh, okay. You still I guess it went down? Oh, uh, no, no, I got better than last time. Never mind, yeah. yeah. Um, Never mind. We still take the still damage, though. Yeah. Yeah, I took the damage already. All right. Well, I missed on that one. Yay. Uh, it healed back to full. Okay, that's fine. If it, like, blows on me, I die. Uh, Branson. Okay. Uh, by the way, all of you, I'll just tell you right now, uh, Necromancer Jim is, he did something that makes it a lot worse for him where he is now. He caught out. Oh, okay. So he's worse. What? Uh, Necrom Necromancer Jim is in a worse spot because of some action he did. Good job. <laughs> They're aware of my presence. Mm. Go, go, idea. Power Jeff. Do, 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 do. You just hear that music, like, faded out in the background. He's coming. Oh. I will cast that mm -hmm. heal on Jinko. Mm -hmm. Not much, but you can go to it. Hey, it's better than nothing. That was max healing for, for the touch deal. That's beautiful. Uh, and then, yeah, I think I'm just gonna move up closer to this thing. 
Okay, Jinko. Oh, it's my go. I just go keep stabbing this thing because that's all I could do. Oh, did it roll for its uh, poison state, by the way? Yeah, it did. It passed. Okay. Uh, well, I'll use my last one of it and put it on the dagger. So, that's uh, one action there. Second action, I'll swing. And third action, I'll go one more time. Ooh, that one hit. So it gets the poison that time. So it takes four damage. And then it needs to do another uh, fort save. And then beat a 22. Wow, it critically failed. Well, it takes TG, uh, TG6 vitality for two rounds. And then after two rounds, it gets to roll again. Yeah. But that's my go. Okay. Tony. Uh, I'm uh, I'm gonna hit it. Okay. Real hard. With two actions, even. Ooh. There Fancy. we go. So that's 13 plus 6 from my, uh... Yeah, no, 13 plus 3, sorry. So that would be 16. Okay. And then final action, uh... Raise the buckler. Buckler! Okay. Kill. You're going. Oh, by the way, it should have taken oh. uh, should be taking automatic damage on this turn. I keep forgetting. Yeah, the fire. I got it. Yeah. It's on him. I see. Act is to move those two together. Second action will get Gilius to the door. And. I'm debating if I want to open the door now because I only got one action left. No, I'm gonna wait till my next turn to open the door. Okay. I'll Jim, uh, to move up a more. Sir. All right, Jim, another wheel safe. Okay, you're good. Okay, this thing's go. So, if, uh, just so you're aware, this thing has attack of opportunity, so. Alright. It hasn't triggered because it hasn't, there's no reason that it did, so. But just letting you know. Okay, well, it would have attacked me when I put the poison on my dagger. Would it? Yep. Oh, that's right, sorry. Because uh, I'm taking my eyes off of it to apply poison to it, my um, dagger. Um, Okay. You're cutting it in out really bad. Yeah, you're cutting out really bad. Oh, well, well, I'm probably dead. Yep. Goodbye, cruel world. Rip I don't know why I'm just unconscious. Uh, yeah, it would have that that would have killed you. Had uh, like I'll just say you got oh, the stab in. Crit. Which would have gone down by two, but then I'm wounded three. So even if I had die hard, I would have died. <laughs> um, yeah, I would have killed you after you stabbed it. Because that yeah. would be a reaction. Yeah. So. Uh, do you mind just give me quickly a blank character sheet? Yeah, just let me do that now. Yeah. Another one bites the dust. Big Jeff, you hear the uh, Power Rangers theme song. <laughs> playing in the background <laughs> and just getting louder. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, uh, there you go. I'll, I'll leave your token up here so you can watch what's going on. Yeah. Well, I'm unconscious. I can't see anyways. Oh, am I sounding okay. better now or am I still no. back up? There. 
Okay, so let's go. Yeah. On Branson, uh, which I need a fort save from Branson. There's Jeff. He looks like Ant Man, but brown. Oh. Essentially. Wow. All right. <laughs> Branson, you are drained too. Two. Yeah, I did. I put it on already. Okay. Yeah. Oh shit! It should be stunned one because I have the fucking necklace on. I forgot this whole time. Okay. <laughs> so uh, Branson's in a turn. He's in a bit of a pickle as he's drained too. Okay. Need to look at something here. Um, let's see. Back to healing. So. So. Well, I'm going to do this first. I'm just going to reach out and touch it and cast heal on it. Okay. On it, right? Yep, on it. Okay, so it's um, going to go over the fort. Yep. Yeah. And it fails. It's a 22. Yep. Bro! No, you used the two action one. You used the two action one, but you rolled the one action damage. I did? Yeah, you rolled the one action damage. You need to roll the. Uh, There's two a. Action. Just be plus I just clicked the roll damage. That's weird. I mean, did you select the range one? The yeah, silver. Yeah, uh, yeah. It looks like you did. Yeah. Yeah. It's not right. It should be like way more than that. I'll roll it again. Yeah, it should be plus eight to it. Okay. I'll, I'll just I'll just add the eight. Um. Okay. And then and then. Okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna strike out with my enough. Uh, Time. There you go. Okay. Yeah, that should be if you do the two action one, it should be three yeah. D eight plus like twenty four. Because it's the same amount of you healing you would do, but versus undead. Unless unless you're casting a one action like a rank one spell and not from your healing. Yeah. Point. I ran out of my healing pot, so I'm... Oh, well, that's, that's why! I just need to do something. I use my healing pot on everybody, apparently. And that's the end of my turn. All right, Tony. Another one bites the dust. It's your turn. Yeah, uh, this is really, really rough. Uh, let's see if I survive this. Uh, I'm going to hit him with a flying flame. Give me a reflex mm -hmm. save. That is a fail. Full damage. Uh, that would be 14 fire damage. Yeah. And then I'm going to punch him. Hit. Oh, you hit. That'll be 9 fire damage. Dog shit roll. Really bad rolls for both of these. Yeah, the damage rolls have been but fascinating. It's, it's something. <laughs> Something, yeah. That's my. That's all my actions. All right, Gil. Okay. I take it this is another stone door. Yes. I shall check the handle, which appears to be locked. Yeah. Is there any switches in the room? No. <laughs> the banshee's yelling. The banshee's yelling. <laughs> Huh. I hear Star Trek. Rachel. Yeah, I hear really broken out Star Trek. 
I have absolutely no clue. It's just your voices. Okay. Bye. I'm done. Mona Kori. Shudhu Mona. Bangladesh. Manushi. Nakal Kori. Na. Bye. Ye dekhen. Chinese. Ye bye. Kiba. Bye. Nakal Kori. Tasse. Bye. If the marriage contract is so good, I why do you hear you on TikTok? Recently. Yeah. Big Red. I'm going to crawl through this microphone and obliterate your balls <laughs> with a mallet. Okay, so the door is locked. I can't pick it. How thick is the stone? Very thick. Okay, so I'm going to. I should knock on the door. <laughs> you knock on the door, okay? You knock on the door. I knock on the door very loudly. <laughs> so yeah. they're just going to hear some knocking on on the stone randomly. Well, the they're they're. Yeah, they they won't hear it because it's another door beyond that. So there's like a little hallway. The door before the door. The door before and... the door. Yeah. Okay, then I will move over here, and I guess I will start looking at this room and examining the books and what's on the shelves and everything. Uh, give me a perception roll. Have them move together. Horrible. Um, yeah, you don't see anything. It's too bad. Well, that'd be my turn. All right. I'll try again uh, next time. Jim, another will save. I was all planning to bust to start helping. Oh, oh, damn it. Okay. You have one more fail left. That's what I'll say. Uh, we'll just leave it at that. Next is... So, hit on Tony, need a fort save. Oh, damage is nice. Ugh. 23. Uh, fail. Watch this. Drained one. Bang. Boom. Watch this. Watch this. Hey, cousin, do you want a Rice crispy? Uh, another fort Big save. Red, I am muting you until, you until you turn off TikTok. Oh, this is awful. Oh, no. Oh uh, no! You're drained too. You're so this heals. Oh, and they're fucking. They heal when they hurt you too. I forgot. Yeah. So he is. Yeah, so. Yeah. He heals, uh, but it's the end of his turn. Branson, here we go. Okay, well, I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to go around. Oh. Oh. You should you drop the weapon. I dropped my trident. Yeah. Then I'm gonna try smacking with my shield. Okay. <sighs> wow. <laughs> okay. Uh Tony. Well, I uh spend one action to step, which does not provoke attacks of opportunity. Fair. Uh, and then I'm going to spend my other two actions to run the fuck away. That's yeah. that's it. I'm skedaddling. Gil. Well, let's start with another perception as I search the room. Okay. 
Uh, you see um, that there's a false door here. Um, going through it will lead to a tunnel that will go to the entranceway, but it'll take you until your next turn to get there. I will give you that. Okay, is there anything interesting otherwise in the room? No. All right, so let's move over here. No, I'll, I'll move. I'll, I'll move all yours, but it'll take you the next turn to get through. That's fine. I put them all together so it's easy. Yeah, I'll just grab them. And, you know. uh, Jim, we'll save. Can I be heard, or am I still glitching out? No, you're still in the nightmare. No, I meant I meant my my mic. Oh, my mic. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you, yeah, I can did. hear you. You're good. You're good. Okay, so can I talk to the shades? I want to see if I can do a necromancer, Jim, and attempt to make a deal with shades that want my soul. <laughs> you can try. Sweet. You still, you say, still hey, have look. to roll the will save, though. Get that out of the way first. Oh, so you're the good. Wrong, wrong button. Wrong button. Oh, no, that's sorry. the wrong thing. It's a 19. Uh, I failed. I'm pissed at. Yeah, you're dead. You basically <laughs> you become part of the wraith. They're part of the wraith's mind. If, yeah. How does one use Hero Forge to make their characters? <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah. 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 Huh? Okay. All right. Um. Yeah. Well, it's time for magic so bomb spell Two people cast. are dead. Yes. I haven't even had a chance to join you. <laughs> it feels so lucky, man. Ah, oh, Brett said you were really hit because this guy. I have advantage against. Mm-hmm. Uh, fort save for Branson. Oh, you are drained three. Wow. Let's see again. Another fort save. You failed by one. You're at maximum that drain this can do. Four. And I'm at zero HP. I'm down. So. The theme song gets even louder now. It's loud, I think. I'm not even going to do that. That's just cruel. <laughs> um, Everything's cruel. We'll just say he passes his turn. Branson needs to make a recovery. Okay. One recovery. All right. Uh, Tony, you're basically by yourself right now, although... You're hearing some shuffling coming from me on this wall. All right, let's see what I can do here. I don't know how fast that thing is. It can fly. Like, it's pretty... It, 40 feet. It can move. Shit, that's too much. Uh, you said I heard shuffling behind the wall? Yes. Yep. All right, can I use a perception check to search the wall? Yes. Uh, you can hear um, movement from this point. A little echoey. It's getting closer. Alright. You hear second action. I move up. A footstep, and it sounds like something beating. Feeding? Beating. Oh, oh. shit! Um, As we come out of the wall. Uh, Branson, uh, uh, sorry hey, to interrupt. Tony's sorry to interrupt, but Branson, you, the Wraith would have siphoned you. I'm dead. Yeah. Okay. Basically, you're, so you're, he's over 
he's over your body <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> but go ahead, so, Tony. Coming out of the wall, you see a skeletal bird fly out of there, followed by a lich in tattered clothing, and finally a very attractive woman who's half human and half skeleton. Like, literally split down the middle. <laughs> oh, no, more evil necromancer bullshit! And then he's going to run in the other direction. Hilarious. You lose a necromancer that's, and you gain another. That's all my turns! Um, okay, so... My character will just look at you and struck and... I'll, he's actually uh, just going to... I'm going to... I'm going to... I gotta do this, and I gotta say, Tony, give me a perception roll. Give yourself a plus four for this one because you were aware of it. Uh, you notice that the uh, barrier starts to fade. Tony's immediately gonna have to fucking say, he's he's gonna start running at the same time and say, See you later, assholes! And then he sees you go in the sim, he's like, what the fuck? Okay, okay. Um, well, um, right. So, um, That's run the funny. hell out of there. Uh, just let me give, uh, is everyone using their character sheet, or do you need another new token? For those that passed. Okay. So let me do that first. Yeah, uh, I go, Where's the nearest town? Hello, there we go. So yeah, yeah to Tony you... and Tony and Gil, you could just basically role play this while I give characters out. I'm going to be a Magus b Alchemy Bomber. I mean, you can do it if you re if your heart believes in it through the power of the cards or whatever. But I'm just warning you, that's a dog shit build. I just want to see how this works for a second. Does it actually give me anything? Nope. I have to do this all manually. Well, I mean, at least until you can get sleeves of storage, then it comes online. But without sleeves I of storage, quick, I'm going to be a hobgoblin. I'm going to be a hobgoblin. You do a quick bomber. You can pull out the bomb and use it yeah. in one action. The problem yeah, is quick. that you, that doesn't work because if you want to use it with spell strike, you have to draw. You have to have the bomb in your hand, and then you can have to use spell strike. So something like quick draw doesn't work because you immediately throw the bomb, and then you don't have a bomb and spell strike anymore. And then there's the problem where recharging your spell strike after you use it takes an action. Uh, big red of giving you a new token. Okay. I can just be, I can like have like a ranged weaponry and then be able to chuck bombs too. Well, yeah, I'm just saying don't, don't, don't try and rely on bombs as your primary ranged weapon. Why do you bring back, um, Geralt, the shotgun wielding dude? Yeah, he was fun. <laughs> Hang on, I, I still need to figure him out. I would need to get him, have him. You, what about like, do... uh, Geralt with shotguns and bombs? Would that work? <laughs> The child shooter. Yeah. <laughs> Carol the child shooter. <laughs> I mean, I know bomb for uh, for bombs related stuff. You need a free hand. Uh, I yes. could like uh, make some. Mm, it does give me ideas, but I do want to try out because like I can, I have far, far lobber. I can have a bow, and I be crafting a bunch of stuff. Here's Ooh. my recommendation if you want to go with the throwing route with um. With uh, Starlet Span is to get something like a it's basically you need a returning grid for your main weapon, and so one hand you can have your main throwing weapon, and the other hand can be your bomb hand because you don't need a free hand to cast spells as a Magus. Right. You just do it. Because Magus is based. Yeah. And I can also buff myself with alchemy stuff too. Alchemy is based. Mm. Yep. This GMs when I pull out the wand of Long Strider and the uh, the scroll of gaseous form. Anyway, back to the back to the game. So oh. Tony's gonna just look at the the this fucking the creature and be like, "What the fuck kind of question is that?" 
as he's like bleeding profusely. He looks like he's been sucked dry. Well, I certainly don't know where I am and whatnot, so if you could t- direct me to the nearest town, I'd be very grateful. Fuck you mean you don't know where you are? I'll just say, as you're both talking, you basically make your way back to the uh, the city. So, yeah, Tony's just gonna start walking, and I guess if she follows, then she follows. He's gonna catch the boat back. Yeah. The the only issue is it's gonna be kind of hard for them to let her in the city, considering she is undead, and it's very obvious. Well, I hope you invested in disguise or have, like, a humanoid form or something. No. I'm half human, half skeleton. You're a summoner, you're a charisma character. It would have been so easy for you to take deception and then the disguise feats. No, where would you put in that? It would have made playing your character feasible. I don't know. Get get some really convincing makeup. Uh, Tony's not going to help you. Well, I can uh, probably talk my way through the deal. I do have good, decent diplomacy. I, I, I doubt that, but you can try. All right, before we get to the city there and uh, Tony and Gil, uh, what is everybody being? Does everyone kind of have an idea yet? Starlight Spam Magus, who also can throw bombs really far, hmm. as like 30 feet. Uh, what about uh, Big Red? If he's there. <laughs> and Ryan, what about you? You're a Power Ranger fighter? Yeah, I'm a Power Ranger. Okay, so you're just yeah. basically like a tank. Okay. That works. Kind of. I'm a, I'm a kineticist, essentially. Wow. But I, instead of going pure kineticist, I only took like the basic feed in it, and then I am dedicated into um, Duelist. Nice. Okay. So, what's your main class? My main class is Kinetic- uh, Kineticist, but I'm mostly other than the level one and whatever you get as you level up through Kinesis, that's all I have, and all my other uh, class feats are from my dedication. You pick duelist dedication, like the weapon user? Yeah. But your weapon proficiency is dog shit. Uh, no, it's not, because I took, uh, I'm a human. And I took training. But it doesn't scale. It does, actually. Eventually. It does? Yeah, it does eventually. Up to what? Uh, when you get other levels, you can just keep taking the general training and just keep upping it. What fee is that? Uh, uh, general training. Oh, it's yeah, called but, general training. Yeah, yeah, but which which general fee are you using to gain it? Weapon proficiency. And then you can select weapon proficiency multiple times. Yeah, you become trained, and at 11th level, they become yeah. expert. And then yeah. the next time you take it, you get to become trained in an advanced weapon. But that yeah. doesn't scale. So no. by the time you get expert, you're already going to be like almost a master in kinetics. That's stuff. fine. I more see take it because um, I like the little quips it had. It reminded me a lot of a Power Ranger. I can go tut tut. <laughs> All right, you do you? Confusing. I, I'm starting to piece together why this uh, why this table has so many deaths. I I think maybe it's the build decisions. Oh, this is just a silly build. Like this is not even like a good build. I have good builds. I just not using it. Fair, fair. It's a lie. This is a just good bring on death. Hey, I have wolf. <laughs> I can always bring in the wolf. Which is just a wolf that has more wolves, essentially. Uh, Rooster, what's the name it's of your... Like my cat who has lots of cats? Yeah. What's, uh, what's the name of Rooster's character? 
Mark, can I get additional lore and like I don't know magical alchemy? I don't know. Sorry, what what's the name of your guy? Uh, Bernard. Bernard. Okay. Yes. Cry for Bernard. To G <laughs> That's funny. <Yes. laughs> I'm just uh, doing your tokens right now. What uh, kind of additional lore is there related to like magic? I want to get. We have to create a character. So. Would it be all right if I had a boomerang? Yeah, they're. Yeah. They're nice. not. Boomerang and bombs. They're level zero. What only do we have in this party again? What do we need? We have Solid a summoner, uh, a Starlet Span Magus, two Kineticists. So we have uh, one, we have two like, half casters and, and two sort of magical melee range generalists. So we probably need a, a full cast. Well, we could probably do with just two half casters. Um, honestly, yeah, my guy is front and center. Still. <laughs> but I guess if uh, I guess if Jeff is trained, if someone's going to take like medicine, we we'll probably be fine. Yeah, Jeff saw. Um, Alias is fully trained in medicine. <laughs> All her skills goes no. towards battle medicine and. Stuff oh, like and you and you're a vine caster too, so you should probably have heal, right? No. Uh, all right then. So we have medicine at least. So we're not complete, and we're gonna have one crafting character. So we're not gonna be totally hopeless. So you can actually probably just pick whatever. I'm gonna have like special crafting for alchemy and magical crafting and whatnot. Jeff is more mm -hmm. up close, personal, and quick witted. And uh, I have alchemical scholar from Hobgoblin, so I have extra so... alchemical item. Uh, Tony and Gil, the shop's open since you're in the city for the moment. I put it on the map. Oh, so they just let me in? <laughs> so, are you able to open it? Yeah, I can get it open. Yeah. Now. Okay, cool. <laughs> I assume over the long travel time, I've had time to fully heal. Yeah. Yes, you're you're top yourself. So for the drained, I'll just say that you slept a couple of days, got rid of it, of course, and. So. Oh yeah, it would have taken more than four days to get here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're all good. You're all good. So Tony, you get back to the tavern there, and you just spend a bunch of uh, time. In your tavern, just kind of recuperating from losing your friends. And uh, talent searching. He needs a new crew. Yes, so... Yeah. Uh, you find very weird crew members. Gil, you're, you're basically just watching Tony run his tavern. You come to realize that it is his tavern. And I'm going to just go with... You've put a, a disguise on just for the sake of argument right now. I'll figure out, you know, if people notice you or not, and um, I'll just wear a cloak and hood. Yeah, that's fine. Same with um, the rest of my crew. Yeah. Except for my skeletal bird, which is going to stand out sitting on my shoulder. Yeah. Uh, just let me know if you guys are done with the shop. I'll buy some healing potions, I guess. Yeah. Hey, Gil, are you buying anything? I don't have any money to buy anything. Okay. I Remember, I just that. made the character, so I have all the supplies I have is what, I, what I'm going to have right Actually, now. I'm going to buy all ten of those. Those are all mine, though. They are, they are in the party. They're in my stash now. All right. Okay. So I'll shut down the shop. And... So confused. Why can't I do my blast? It won't allow me to you... add my uh, elemental blast. Okay. Um. Next, can you just give me access to a sheet so I can see? 
Is it a? Uh, you might yeah. have to. Do you not have your gate open? Oh, maybe that's it. They should still show up in like your attacks, but you have to like, open the gate. There you if go. It's not open, then it'll just then they will, might not show. So yeah. you have access to. Well, it won't even let me like add it to my sheet. That's the whole thing. Oh no no, it'll do that automatically. Oh it's, okay okay. It's really so, like, uh it's really uh, well automated. So here, let me just click the channel elements. Uh, well, put his token channel, down on the put his token down on the map. It might not be showing because yeah, that. maybe that's why. Yeah. There. There you go. So channel elements, you said. Yep. All right. There you go. Yeah, thank you. You good? Yep, all good. Okay. Yeah, just the token had to be there. That's why it didn't work. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so, there we go. Um, so, I'm going to roll what you made. Again. So that was your take. Add those together. That was your take over the last while for your tavern. All right. That yeah. comes out to total of. That's a pretty low take for us. Oof. Yeah. This. Oh, nice. You probably think it's because of just like the recent events and everything. It's been it's been a rough year. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so for channel elements, as soon as I can do a impulse thing. Nice. Yeah, you can also do a stance impulse. That's my tool. Yeah, I go do my metal care piece every time I do it. Because I might as well just go armor. <laughs> uh, Ryan, is your character ready? Oh, yeah, my guy's all done. Okay. He's all good. So uh, for you, Jeff, you... Got a letter in the mail, we'll say, uh, about somebody naming Tony looking for recruits to help him with a uh, situation. So it brings you okay. to this city, and you see this tavern, and it's pretty busy. And uh, you walk in, and Gil, you're you're sitting by the bar, sitting at a table, having a drink, and uh, Tony is kind of standing there overlooking everything. Um, and Jeff, you kind of like realize this must be the owner of the establishment, so go ahead. Yo, can I have a sarsaparilla? <laughs> you see a very young man walk into the bar. Okay, you uh might want to ask the bartender over there, that's what we pay him to do. Oh, okay, hey, you go over and like yell at the bartender for a sarsaparilla. <laughs> okay. He doesn't yike you. And I go, yep. He doesn't like me because I yelled. Well, he serves you because that's his job, but he doesn't like you yelling at him and kind of gives no. Tony the evil eye towards him. No offense, no offense. You know, just I'm just All excited. Right. I, I'm here and I kind of like show a flyer. All right. So, Gil, you're, not... you're sitting at the bar and you notice this person sit down sort of near you. Down near me. Well, that's when I instantly killed him. <laughs> I mean, what? No, they, they, uh, he would just see a hooded figure sitting there drinking. Yeah. And then another hooded figure that just steps between the two of you. Okay. As they're a skeletal parrot on the one that's sitting drinking. You can tell it's a woman, but you can't really tell much else with the hood and I, I, look, I don't really look surprised. I just were like I am here for I heard you're looking your crew, are you part of this recruitment process? And are you the one I have to talk to? Is there someone else I have to talk to? Well, you just hear her saying something in Necrol then. Because she's a bit annoyed with you right now. Okay. Uh, big Red. Sorry, Big Red. What are you thinking of playing us? 
I'm going to go back to what I used to play. I'm going to go back to the Thief. All right. You don't have to... I'm going to be the one crazy. You want potions? Yes. Yeah. Uh, since I'm in the bar, I'll go up to uh, Tony, since I'm assuming he's the owner of the place, and mm -hmm. you know, shake his hand and be like, Hi, hi, I'm Jeff. Are, are you the one looking for new people? Uh, yes, that's right. We're, uh, we're looking for... Uh, we're looking, well, I'm a blunt, yeah. We're looking for mercenaries. Oh, well, I'm more of a, and I do like a, like a really stereotypical superhero pose where I put my, my hands on my hips. Like, I'm a hero. No, no, you gotta do, I'm a hero of justice. No, 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 I'm just a hero. I'm not a hero of justice. Uh, you're no fun then. Who cares about you now? Okay. What's that line that uh, he's he's gonna look he's gonna look Jeff up and down in the very ostentatious costumes like a you know this job requires a little bit of a discretion. Discretion. Ah. Uh, mm, does it need discretion in combat or outside of combat? Yeah, uh, outside mainly. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, in combat, I'm very flashy. Well, you know, that can work if you do it right. What sort of I skills do you have, uh, oh, Jeff? Well, I, well, when in battle, I, uh, I, uh, you know, I morph into my superhero. You morph into a superhero. How does that work? I, uh, show them. I open up my gate and metal just surrounds me as armor. Oh, oh, yeah, I know that. I know, I know some guys who could do that. You also notice I have a bastard sword on me as well. What's with the uh, what's with the sword? Oh well, yeah, there are types you don't really somehow. need those sort of. Yeah, are you sure about that? Oh yeah. I mean, our types, you know, they don't really need those sort of things. Well, I mean, they can always make one out of metal. But I mean, yeah, you know, plain of metal is uh, kind of rusty these days, so I guess I can see where you're coming from. Yeah. As long yeah. as it works, I guess. Oh, well, it can't, works. Can't really works. be choosing these days. Uh, so I'm also, uh, I'm also, you know, good with uh, with talking to people. If you need, you know, need a uh, face. I'm a good face. That's a skill we can use. Yeah. I'm also good at like demoralizing the enemy. I make, I make jokes, so and they just take it to heart. <laughs> oh, you know, I... crummy jokes, you say? Ah, uh, kind of. That uh, reminds me of a, of, of a, a, well, I won't say a friend, more like a business associate, but uh, not even really a business associate. Maybe a, um, maybe maybe just that. an acquaintance, a coworker who I lost recently. He was very fond, <laughs> fun, he was very fond of crummy jokes. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'll tell you what, kid. I'll 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 cut you out in a mouth. I I'll uh, I'll give you a chance, and you know if you can. Uh, you know, we'll see if we can work this out. I like your spunk. I kind of just, like, nod and, like, undo the armor and then stretch out my hand to, like, shake your hand. You know you can just you can just dismiss it, right? Yeah, that's right. I just dismiss the armor. It just goes poof. Oh, you, you made it sound like he was, like, physically taking it off. Oh, no, no, <laughs> no. It would have been very poof. funny. Yeah, no. <laughs> he actually takes off the helmet first, and then the rest of it goes poof, but he holds onto the helmet. Oh, and, really? uh, <laughs> then you then you shake hands and he hand, and, you know, he hands you no actually no he doesn't he doesn't reach out to shake your hand he instead hands you a contract as soon as it come out of nowhere so here you go and then he hands you a a pen and it's like hey, go ahead and sign here in the dotted line at the bottom ah uh, uh, I read the contract <laughs> well uh, it's about thirty pages long the first ten pages are in uh, increasingly smaller prints but they're all in common. <laughs> The next 20 are all in... Let's see, what languages do you speak? <laughs> Common and Alvin, and that's it. Uh, you can't read it. But it's a very, <laughs> very small print. Um, I'll try to roll diplomacy against you. <laughs> to say I don't need a contract. Let's see. That, who, who would that be against? Uh, be it is your will. It's your will, do you All right, so it's a 20. Wow, that was a bad roll. 
He gives you a very fatherly, disapproving look. Now, come on. You don't, uh, you don't want to be unprofessional, do you? Superheroes, you know, they follow the law. That means you got to have all the proper signage and uh, registration. <laughs> I sign a fake name. Ah, uh, doesn't matter. You, you know the uh, the anyway. The you notice you as you put, if you notice you put down the pen that your hand is bleeding, and then all the ink is red. <laughs> the ink that you wrote anyway, because it was infused with your blood. So it doesn't matter what name you put. Oh, down. Like it knows you. Water. Okay. Um. Bernard, anyway, I know. And then, so, then he reaches out to shake your hand. All right. I look hey, forward to a bloody uh, hand. I look forward to a long and profitable relationship. Yeah. And then there's you a notice? slight pain as a uh, the mark <laughs> burns itself into your palm and then fades. Uh, you, you notice it real hard. It shows. You notice right. Jeff misspelled his name instead of Jeff. He's put Jaff. It's fine. <laughs> the, the the lettering isn't important so much as you put your blood on the paper. Oh, okay. So, uh, Bernard, I know you have some stuff left to do on your character, but um, you got... I can introduce them. Yeah, so, Bernard, same thing. You got uh, something in the mail about or, um, people, someone hiring mercenaries, and you basically the same thing. You come to the city, you go to the tavern, and uh, as you walk in, you see Tony shaking hands with somebody who you don't know, As and go ahead. I just roll arcane on the whole deal. I'm going to just... Okay, I'm definitely a bit... Hmm. Sus. Well, this is, uh, anyway. this is evil divine magic, so really it would be a religion check. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess I guess arcane would tell you that definitely something sus is happening. Some sort of magical contract being signed. Bloody. Okay, well, you just see probably a, a hobgoblin with, like, a spell book, some bombs, and a Runic ru boomerang with runes on it, and just you know, bomber go goggles who just shows up and has a, like, Hello, I'm Bernard. Come from like, uh, where did I come from again? I don't know, local continent. Heard there's like vampire and and like monster issues. Came here to help. Well, we're uh, we're definitely looking for some experienced undead hunters. Yeah, I mean, I. I don't have holy magic, I have arcane magic, but yeah. Well, as long as you understand their weaknesses, that'll do. So tell me, uh, Mr. Bernard, what sort of skill set are you bringing to the table? Uh, I can craft alchemical items, magical items, and I can throw magical boomerang, and I can infuse my bombs and boomerangs with magic. Of course, the bombs take a little bit longer, but they can have some potent firepower, depending on what's used. I do enjoy a good explosion. Still making my still stocking up on supplies, but we'll be able to help in a bit. Oh, don't worry. When they work for me, money is no object. I, I think I'm going to be more of a mercenary than making any sort of deals with you, but all right. Well, well that's all it is. It's just a business contract. And he pull and, he, and then he reaches under and then he like goes and then he like signals to the bartender and the bartender pulls up another thirty page contract like <laughs> here it's just a, just some standard mercenary registration you know contractor stuff liability papers and all that. I'll, I'll, can I sign this once I'm more prepared? Of course, of course. Take your time to take it. Good. All right, uh, so Gil, uh, we're going to do this as the last kind of action in the session tonight. So give me a perception roll from where you are. Ooh. Hey, not bad. Not bad. Uh, go to Whisper for me. So um, you're sitting there, and you're looking uh, beyond Tony and the introductions of mercenaries, and you see that uh, there is a cart covered with a tarp of dead bodies rolling by. Oh, that would definitely interest me. I know it would. <laughs> so I will sit there and have my little bird move 
onto the lich's shoulder, and they will go out and follow it. Okay. So, uh, the bird, bird will yep. To keep it. Yep. So the lich and the bird follow it. And, uh, can, so, can they see through their eyes or any of that stuff? Or do they have to come back and report, basically? Like your connection. No, we have shared senses. Okay. Because cool. of the uh, summer. Okay, cool. And I have, I lose one spell slot a day, but I can sever the connection without being killed if need be. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so the cart is being uh, pulled by uh, two guys and horses, and uh, roll perception check on the cart of corpses. You can okay, use, so um, this would be from the Lich Bob, which one has the better? The Lich Alfred has the better. Uh, that's fine. 20. You, you didn't need a high roll for this. So the uh, Lich notices that the bodies are that of assassins you've been fighting this time. It's obvious. Uh, this brings up why you were in that dungeon. Shadow Assassins got to jump on you and had you basically locked in that room for sinister purposes for later. Obviously, you know, you sensed there was some evil in there. I'll save you the trouble. The Wraith was bad and was going to do some shit. Uh, you got course, free. Marry off the, the Necromancer undead girl. Yeah, you're lucky you're actually... World, you know. Yeah, you're actually lucky the Wraith wasn't in there when you were in there, because it might have done the same thing to try and do to you, but who knows? But anyway, you escaped. Uh, you made your way through. Uh, and then that's, of course, when you met Tony. So um, your Lich is kind of sniffing there. They're quite dead. Um, and the Lich kind of, like, sneaks up and pulls the tarp up a little bit and sees that they've been run through, and probably it was from guards in the city or something like that. So um, you get a sense that, like, yeah, the Shadow um, Assassins are still around, uh, but it's good that, you know, they're being taken care of in the city. Um, and then... Assassin in the body that I can see right off the bat that's in the best shape. And looks the strongest. The top one? Well, then the lich is going to seal that corpse. So it basically it, it pulls the uh, corpse off the cart, the boom goes on the ground, creates some dust, and uh, it's bringing it back to you. Yep, it's going to wrap it up in some spare cloth, so it won't be too noticeable, yeah. and it, it's going to return. Okay, so uh, go back to general for this finale of the session. Okay. So, as you're all there, and Tony's wrapping up his stuff with uh, Bernard, um, uh, Tony and Bernard, you notice that there's this hooded person carrying what looks like a wrapped up something and tarp and heading over to where Gil is at the table. None of my business. Well, Tony would know that it's the Lich because of coming in here. Yeah. And yeah. the bird will have landed on its shoulder, but the rest of them wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah, I get I guess if you've just been hanging around Tony would Tony and Gil's would have become uh, associated. Yeah, yeah. You would say fuck who cares. Maybe he's been employing he you as like talk uh, too much. So, so uh, some people notice in the tavern they're watching the uh, lich bring over this thing. They don't know what it is. And then you hear, uh, Volt! And then they turn their attention back to the game. Damn it! And they throw their cards down and all that kind of stuff. Right. Nice. Uh, that's where we're going to end the session there. Um, and I'm going to give you a little bit of a surprise, even though it didn't come out as a good affair. Still a good affair. Level yourselves up. Yippee! I will leave the server open for you to fiddle around. So, Big Red, yeah. you can make your character, but put it up one more level. Uh, because you're going to need it. Yeah, I can't wait to go back there with like a fucking vengeance. 
Uh, yeah. you're, you're just lucky that Gil wasn't in the same room with the Wraith because maybe it would have done the same thing it did to Jim. Who knows? But uh, it's a good thing he didn't. Hey, what's funny? In my build plan, you know what feed I'm taking this this level? What? Uh, die Hard. <laughs> I'm debating what to take for this one. I'm debating whether taking Fleet. Fleet is really good. I, I, I take it in basically all my builds. Yeah, because like my speed's twenty five, like so, I'll make it go up to thirty, and then I'll make it twenty five when I don my armor. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I want to actually get fleet now that I think. Doesn't about it. Uh, doesn't the metal armor only have a minus five speed penalty? It does, which draws me down to twenty because I have twenty five. Well, yeah, but if you meet the strength uh, requirement, yeah, I mean the strength, it goes down yeah. by five, and so then it's just not encumbered at all. So yeah, you just have yeah. thirty feet of movement. Yeah, which is awesome. I love that. Yeah, I'm thinking of that, or I'm thinking of I don't know. Well, uh, the highlight, I guess, would be Tony escaping with his life, and everyone else not. I think that was the highlight of tonight. It was just an endless uh, series of horror. Well, it didn't, didn't start well with you being shot twice and went down, and then Jinko swallowing his dart. So, really, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it the started dice out were, the, the dice were against us. I mean, honestly, yeah. the whole party could have. I mean, we were exhausted and we were like out of spell slots, but yeah. we still could have handled one wraith if the dice hadn't rolled utter garbage. Yeah, the damage was awful. Like the damage rolls, I noticed, like. Um, so, yeah. The dice giveth and the dice taketh away. And Mr. E, and Mr. E didn't die. Another game, he didn't die. Well, he wasn't oh, yeah. even in the combat, so... No. <laughs> yeah. If he was, we probably would have beat, we probably would have beat the Wraith. Yeah. Ass, but it was just two of us I... against the Wraith was no good. Would I be able to buy runes for my boomerang? Mm, you'll have to find them. I mean, he's playing a throwing Magus. He really needs a returning room at a minimum. Honestly, yeah. we should really we should really be just getting those runes automatically because it kind of assumes you have them for game balance. Like the basic runes anyway. We'll see what the shop has next session. Alright, um, I'm gonna go. It's late. Yeah. Alright. So uh Anyone else uh, want to jump in on a deadly highlight tonight? <laughs> the oil would have well, worked, by I the need way. The, uh, need a new sheet with the assassin's information. Yeah, Nexus, would you be able to open the shop since I have all that gold, or is that to next session time? We'll do that next session. Um, right. I'll, uh, I'll just uh, hop in to put in the assassin's information for Gil. Just, uh, and then... Yeah, it's got to be a new sheet. Yeah. So... Do, 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 do. Yeah, my AC goes from 24 to 25 by me just changing into the uh, metal care piece. Yeah. And I gain a new cantrip. And I get a shield. Which means it actually goes up by even a little bit more. Let's see. What cantrip do I want? All do anything but the divine. Like, is there arcane spells that allow my weapons to return to me? I mean, there's blazing armory. So there you go. I named them for you.
There we go. Dead assassin. Yeah. See, those uh, type now of I'm master of diplomacy. The assassin would be even better for all the rest. <laughs> oh, that's the one you got. Yeah. I'm just waiting to use this. Oh, that, yeah. <laughs> bon Mott. Yeah. I love it. Ah, insult the fella. Insult yeah! Him. Yeah. Well, like, they're always funny. They always do, like, the little quick little whips in the show, so that's just like, oh yeah, I'm just going to do this then. Yeah. I'm just, like, adding spells and, and a bunch uh, of stuff. Yeah, that, uh, I, think, I still think, uh, if I remember correctly, Girl's death was more brutal than Jim's death. Oh, yeah, I got sent to the Shadow Realm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hey, Nexus, Nexus so I, know, so I know you're, like, a bit wanting to buy runes to the shop. But would it be all right if I just have the boomerang as returning without the runes so I don't immediately lose it? That's fine, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Is that boomerang returning anyway? No, no, my boomerang's returning when I don't, when I miss, when I hit, it just. Yeah, I, I mean, you're going to be level seven oh, now, yeah. so that's fine. You can take that. Thing. Yeah. Thank uh, yeah, you. That's going to help. I mean, a lot. it'll be make your character that much cooler, right? Yeah, yeah, just magic boomerang with bombs. It's going to be so fun to just fi fireball someone with a bomb. Uh, that area effect too, right? Like it's yeah, uh... yeah. So it's blast damage, so I could like throw a bomb that like causes some sort of effect towards their like reflex, and then they get exploded by a fireball. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I actually oh. do have to use my bastard sword to use tut tut. That would be funny. You just take it out and like tut tut tut, and just put it back. Yeah, because it says uh, I hit a creature with a melee attack. Roll. Yeah, I'm also getting a night. And I don't think an fire. elemental blast classifies as melee. Hey, no, it's shaped it like a weapon. Range. Yeah, it is a melee range, and I do have it where I make it into a weapon. So technically speaking, I can find any weapon, any cantrip that does a basic will save. One damage. Two. Yeah, there's a lot of those. All right, well, I'm, I'm going to hop off. off. I've got uh, four, so yeah. I got AC, I got reflex. I'll leave the server up tonight and uh, right. see so you guys can work on your characters. I think it's... Oh, yeah. Sounds good. Okay. Do, you think, do you think it would work?